we are going to enter the second type of questions we are going to encounter in this chapter. OK, and this is a question I call. Are we going to have precipitation type questions? For this type of questions, you are going to see a descriptions. You will say, OK, I have a solution A with certain concentration. I have solution B with certain concentration. I'm going to mix them together. And then I ask, are we going to have precipitates to form? The way you address this question will be, you want to calculate the QSP first. And then based on the relationship between your QSP and KSP, then you will predict whether the precipitate will form or not. Let's have some example here. So if I mix the silver nitrate, this is a soluble salt mixed with sodium chloride. This is also soluble salt and they are going to dissociate 100%. So you have the Ag and O3 solution. You have NaCl solution. OK, you're going to dump blend together into a big containers. Once you did that, you're going to have Ag plus NO3 minus Na plus Cl minus. They're all existing inside your solution. However, the Ag plus and Cl minus, they will form the insoluble salt. Typically, they are going to give you the KSP of AgCl is going to equal to a certain number. They are going to provide data inside your questions. Then they ask you, okay, are we going to have uh, precipitates or not? So the way you answer this type of question is actually you want to do some analysis because we know AgCl, this is actually insoluble salt. Once it dissolves, we're going to have Ag plus aqueous solution plus Cl minus aqueous solution. So from the original solution, which is actually a solution that going to provide a concentration and volume inside your problem. You can actually know if you just download things in, OK, you can actually calculate concentration of your Ag plus. The concentration of your Cl minus. So once you do that, then you can calculate your QSP, right, which is going to equal to the Ag plus concentration to the first power times your Cl minus concentration to the first power. If you have a QSP, that is actually larger than your KSP. But it means actually you have too much product. So you need to actually go back to the other side. So eventually you want to reach, make the QSP equal to your KSP, right? If you move to the reactant side, what are you going to have? You're going to have your insoluble salt. So this is actually your product. That is your reactant, right? If your QSP is larger than your KSP, that means the reaction need to move to the left hand side. And then once you move to the left hand side, you are going to have insoluble salt. Then you are going to have precipitations. OK, so you want to actually compare your QSP to the KSP. So if your QSP is smaller than your KSP, then everything is fine. You're not going back to to generate new uh, insoluble salt. OK, you will just stay as the way it is. So you are going to you're going to have no precipitates. But if your KSP is larger or equal to your KSP, then you're going to see your precipitate. So let's look at one example. So assuming you have 500 ml of calcium chloride with chloride concentration of certain number, it's added into another solution with another species. Question number one of A is actually is going to ask you, will a precipitate of AgCl have formed when the equilibrium is reached? So this is actually a very standard type of way they are going to ask you. Once you see this type of description, you should know the things you want to do is actually you want to compare your QSP and the KSP. Number two is actually you want to calculate the equilibrium concentration of Ag plus and Cl minus resulting from this solution. Okay. So from the description, you know the solution number one is actually your calcium chloride. OK, so this is a soluble salt. That means it's going to dissociate 100%. Once they dissociate, it tells you the chloride minus concentration is equal to 8.00 times 10 to the negative 6. After they add in into the solution. 
And then the solution A is actually the AgNO3 solution. Again, it is a soluble salt. And then this one is going to give you the Ag plus concentration is going to equals to 0 0.004. And then you have 300 mil. Okay, for the top one, you have 500 mil. So once you mix these things together, we know the total volume will change, right? So because the concentration is specified, it's actually its original solution, but you are missing two different solutions together, right? So once you mix these two things, you are going to recalculate the chloride minus concentration, okay? And then the Ag plus concentration, okay? So we know the way you calculate this is actually the original concentration of your Cl minus times the volume of your uh, solution one, okay, the calcium chloride solution, okay, divided by the V total, right? So this is going to equal to A times 10 to the negative six times 500 divided by 500 plus 300. Okay, so if you do these calculations, you know the new concentration is 5 times 10 to the negative 6, okay? So if you mix these two things together, you know the new concentration of your chloride minus will be equal to 5 times 10 to the negative 6. If you do the same thing for your Ag, then you know you should calculate 0 0.004 times 300 divided by total volume is actually 800, right? So if you do this calculation, you're going to get a number of 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3. So let's actually the final concentration of Cl minus and Ag plus if you just mix these two things together. Then you want to actually estimate the QSP, right? Because you want to compare your QSP to your KSP so you can actually answer whether you're going to see the precipitate, right? So we know AgCl is going to form Ag plus and the Cl minus. The QSP is equal to the Ag plus concentration times your Cl minus concentration. So in this case, your Ag plus is 5 times 10 to the negative 6 times Cl minus is actually 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3. So if you do this calculation, you give you 7.5 times 10 to the negative 9. Then you want to compare your QSP to a KSP, right? So we know the KSP of HECL is actually 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10, right? So your QSP is larger than your KSP. Okay, so you know you're going to have the precipitate. Okay, once you see this is happening, okay, you know the precipitate is going to form. After that, what will be the actual solubility of your salt? That is the things that we want to actually solve. Okay, so we are going to use ice table. We want to go through these things slowly first. Okay, so right now we know after we mix, that's the concentration we have, right? But right now the question says, we want you to calculate the equilibrium concentration of this. So if you look at this too more carefully, okay, we know it's going to form the precipitates. Forming the precipitation is actually a highly favorable process. So what we do is actually we assume they are all they are going to go to the precipitate 100%. Second idea is actually I want to see the quantity of your Ag plus and Cl minus. Which one is actually a limiting reagent? Cl minus, right? So we are going to assume that all the CO minus will be consumed. So in that case, you are going to form a situation that all the things will be consumed. Our real new initial condition will be, okay, 1.5 times 10 to the negative three minus 5.5 5 times 10 to the negative six. And then this is the same, you minus five times 10 to the negative 6. Therefore, our new initial condition is actually we don't have Cl minus in the solution. And in the KSP calculation, you can always, always, always use small x approximation. And then if you see this too, 
this is actually very, very tiny compared to like 1.5 times 10 to negative 3, right? Therefore, okay, too small, ignore it. So that will be actually the new initial condition you're going to have. And then you're going to have certain amount of AgCl still inside your solution, right? And then assuming the solubility of that is S, okay, then you're going to produce S for your Ag plus and Cl minus. Therefore, when you reach your equilibrium, what you have is actually 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3 plus S, S. Once you have this two, okay, you can write out your KSP, right? Your KSP is 1.5 times 10 to the negative third plus your solubility times your solubility. And then here again, if you use the small x approximation, then you're going to have 1.5 times 10 to the negative third times your solubility. That's going to equal to your KSP, which is actually 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10. So once you come to this point, then you can actually solve your S is going to equals to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10. The bottom is actually 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3. Then you got 1.1 times 10 to the negative 7. Once you do this, then you can see the solubility is actually going to represent the concentration of Cl minus, right? So you know your Cl minus concentration is 1.1 times 10 to the negative 7. For your Ag plus, okay, it's going to equal to this, right? So 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3 plus 1.1 times 10 to the negative 7. You know the second term is actually way too small. So you can just write this.